This is a joint, uh, is a partnership program between ourselves as Dale and Kemal University of Technology and the Kenya Film Commission. And because of that partnership, we are in touch with key people in the private sector who are already in that industry. And we'll be creating a system that brings them together so that they can help us expand the pool of people who are actually working in the film industry with a specific focus on animation and gaming. Kenya Film Commission is here today to witness the official launch of uh, this film hub, which is aimed at growing capacity from this particular region as far as film, animation and gaming is concerned. Uh, so today what we have launched is a film hub. And this film hub provides the opportunities for animation, for virtual reality and for film. And I want to challenge the young people in the engineering and the all of that can use this facility to come and exercise their skills and start developing products not just for overseas but also for local companies. So I want to challenge uh, the animators and the filmmakers really take advantage of many of the things we have here in Yemen. Uh, the Commission has invested close to 15 million shillings to uh, install the facilities that the CS has uh, uh, launched today. And the main objective is basically to give an opportunity uh, for the community in Nyeri County to be able to access uh, facilities for production. And when I was beginning my journey, of course, the film making process was centralized in Europe. And I remember I'd have to wake up at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., so that I'd make Nairobi by 7 a.m. So I'd have to go take a 2 uh, shuttle just to go to, just for audition, just for courses and uh, classes. We'd have to go all that distance. But now, the young filmmakers of these counties and the ones around our county have this very special and historic opportunity at the film hub. They don't have to go anywhere. They don't have to travel. They can just come here to the film hub and they can access world-class uh, equipment and opportunities. Kibiangu ni mifulaia sana. You are Dedan Kimadi University of Technology uh, in collaboration with the Kenya Film Commission. We are very happy with this platform. So we are very happy, very, very happy. Hata wengine wetu hata sijui tunaweza sema nini juu ni kitu mpya ni kitu imekuja ku solve mashida zetu e, sasa kama sisi kama wasanii wenye wako huku loko loko chini 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 tu e, tuna tuna na challenge moja challenging the equipment that we are using it is not so powerful and kama iko powerful ya hazina hizo capability cha kufanya vitu kubwa kubwa na tuna uwezo wa kufanya hiyo kazi na every sure we can do good work good job the time challenges zenye for the customer konga na zone space data the processes na na machine na speed ya machine main focus of the hub is going to be creation of films through animation for that reason the hub has a very good computers and we have the full soft set of softwares and other auxiliary facilities that are necessary in film production. I'm very sure speed it up from Zuri. Now those lettering processes, zita kuwa zi kendera tu sawa. You pengine want to render something for three hours, then I'm very sure ita kuwa yi kirenda within 20, 35 minutes kwa kumamaliza. Adela kukoja all those three hours, kuna kuta customer hame, hame boeka, pengine job hame haribika hapo katikati, out of time. Uh, now you see, I think we are going to work well. So this is just but a first and the Danikimati University is going to play a role of a pioneer production uh, film hub um, uh, simple that has not been witnessed in any other county in the country. Today we were here for an auspicious, auspicious occasion, uh, for a historic occasion where we were launching the Kimathi Film Hub. Now, a first of its kind, um, this, is, this is something that will cater to the needs of animation makers, filmmakers, and the gaming sector. By allowing them to have the tools and equipment 
and the information and the space to just be able to go around with your projects. I really to congratulate uh, the University and the Kenya Films Commission for this absolutely innovative initiative. I was especially impressed by the Virtual Reality Lab and uh, I don't know if they called it the Game Parts Engineering or the Part Game Engineering, whichever it is, but it did look like um, the classes um, for especially complicated courses like engineering can be had uh, even off, class, off, off campus. So really, my list really encourage the uh, Kenya Film Commission to continue working with us and um, I was also impressed uh, by the fact that the youth have already taken up uh, the initiative uh, to, to come to this hub and uh, better their skills. And I think I want to assure uh, both uh, the Vice Chancellor and Kenya Film Commission that indeed there is appetite, there is appetite for this field. About one year ago, the Commission uh, and the Department University, as well as uh, the Ministry, and it's Frida, and Consa Technopolis CEO uh, in Kenya Tanui, we held a meeting and uh, that meeting was to forge a way on how we can be able to power production uh, in this country and more so in this region as well. And uh, we identified key critical uh, gaps that we needed to fill. One of them was uh, our production facilities as well as uh, powering of uh, skills. The quick way which we arrived at was to set up this film hub. And uh, the main reason for this film hub is to provide opportunities not only to the students uh, of this university, but to the entire county. Producers who are present today, as well as uh, um, our students, this facility is aimed at providing an opportunity for them to tell stories, to help them develop games, as well as uh, produce animated, animated content. We were here a few days ago, you know, outside the MOU, I think about 90 days ago. And uh, in government, sometimes you get stories. But I want to say that uh, we really appreciate that uh, we are here to witness a very giant step in what we wish to do for our KFC, Kemal, and Likat, and ourselves. The county government is also very, very appreciative of the innovation that Professor, you have continued to invite and bring in within this university. For some time, I think most Kenyan universities lost the essence of being a university where research and new innovations are created and we are proud to be associated with the good work that is being done within this university and you can always count on our support. Um, Today I think is the second time you are coming regarding this particular aspect of uh, uh, the ICT, the media aspect. The first time you came, I I think it was in 2016 or thereabout. And then you visited our, uh, what we call the Data Human Innovation Hub, in short, the D Hub. And uh, I'm sure you have seen the development that has taken place from the small companies that you saw uh, in that time to, the, to what they have become um, five years or four years uh, down the road. When we look at that, for us, what we are then engaged in is the scaling up of the project, the scaling up in terms of the number of people we are able to admit into this, um, uh, into this pipe, pipeline, and also the number of partners and the, the kind of things that they can do. Listening to those young men saying that they are dealing with clients from the UK, I think that is great and uh, exciting just listen and see them do that. And that one takes away a huge chunk of this problem of unemployment in the county and within the country. So we want to encourage our youngsters and the young people. Uh, I was surprised to see some point here guys there. I thought like I had somebody called Bozo. And he looked uh, like he had a white hair. I was wondering if he, if 
he will fit within the community. And I'm glad that he's there. That takes away uh, the notion that it is only the youth who can handle this. So for us, we will work very closely with you, Professor. Even where we have, we can sponsor some of our some students, just come and study animation. I am sure there are people like PlayStation who have who are billionaires. We just so I learned the last time I was here that it takes years to develop one game, but it is worth the wait. So for us as accountant, we will walk this journey together. In this COVID-19 pandemic phase, one of the things we have to do is to travel, is to go and uh, interact with the business. And what we have launched here, we are launching here today, allows for the Kenyans and even the tourists from outside to be able to see what is available, how the country looks, and how the country, uh, the country looks. And so we are very happy that this uh, facility that is uh, that we launched today is going to facilitate the development of such uh, programs, such uh, animations that will really help us be able to describe uh, many things. At the same time, the facility is being used for education. We are able to see that we can be able to use machines in different places, control them remotely, be able to develop products, and that is, in a way, the way we want to go in the fourth uh, industrial revolution. That's how our manufacturers and the different services that we provide are going to start happening. So you can design it software and in the end be able to come up and produce products that work for each and every individual. There are very many stories that can be told out of just uh, the near country. And uh, government, if we work together, we can create uh, a near also, so that we have uh, a competition handle for people that are providing and producing content for this uh, country. We're doing a similar program with the Technical Commission so that they all the different uh, counties and where they want to work with us and they are able to work with us, then we can actually be able to promote the country. I believe. So today is a great day for, for the country. One, uh, David Martin University, uh, Science and Technology Park, is one of the two science and technology parks we have in the country. The other is the Quanta Technology. And together, they have been able to work closely where Konza is providing the back end uh, you know, data center and services where you can host many of the different applications, whereas here, the young people can be able to use the services. It's a government intention to be able to expand this program now beyond even the science and technology parks to be able to get other universities and other institutions to be able to have a similar facility where they can be able to have the animations, they've got the film production, and even the augmented the reality, all those services that will actually help us be able to create the jobs and be able to inform uh, the country better on the way that we want to move forward. So let me take this opportunity to thank you all again for coming and to congratulate the Technology University Kenya Film Commission for the hub and it can be official now declare the Dedan Timati Film Hub officially open. Say uh, thank you on behalf of the university and on behalf of the people who are going to benefit from the facility that uh, you have launched uh, uh, today. But even as, as I say thank you, I also uh, say thank you to a lot of our partners. One of our uh, our best partners here is also the county government of Maine. And they see our very well represented by both uh, uh, the governor and the deputy governor. Um, and uh, the county government is a integral part of the bigger picture. Because what we are doing today fits in the bigger picture of establishing the science and technology park. And there is a, a, a vast amount of work um, that is ongoing and that's going still has to uh, be done in the, in the years to come. And we are happy that uh, we are working very closely with the country government. In the next uh, few weeks, we'll be putting some teams together um, to do a couple of things. One, to come and uh, use the facility to do films. 
two, those ones who may not be really there in terms of skill, they will come and you will train them. And then three, we will try to figure out how we can create an, a, a, a proper ecosystem that can support film industry in this region. By saying ecosystem is that production of film requires the people who have the competences of using the computers to animate, it requires people who can do the, the scripts, people who can direct the, the scripts, and then people who can put all that together and have a production. And then after that, for it to make sense, you have to look for a market. So you also need to have a market uh, for the film productions and uh, be able to convince people that we can actually pay your market so that we run it as a business. So that's the kind of ecosystem that uh, uh, we'll be developing.